I'm Barb DeShane, investigating officer with WorkSafe BC. At this site, an operator lost his life when his grapple skidder rolled down a hillside. This is what the investigation found. A logging crew had been yarding logs on the hillside using a cable yarder. The yarder was positioned on an access road next to the hillside. This is the view from inside the yarder. Using the yarder, logs were moved up the hillside to the access road. The skidder was also on the access road. The skidder operator wanted to speak to the yarder operator, so he drove the skidder over to the yarder. Three bunches of timber remained in front of the yarder. The yarder operator told the skidder operator that he would move these later after repositioning the yarder. No one saw the skidder's initial path. Minutes later, the yarder operator was surprised to see the skidder positioned sideways across the hill, apparently to skid the bunch timber. The skidder suddenly tipped over and started to roll down the 40% slope. The skidder rolled twice before reaching the steeper 70% slope of the hillside. Then it continued to roll until it stopped about 400 feet below the road. The stress from the rollover tore the skidder operator's seat belt in half. The crew rushed to extricate the skidder operator, but he later died of his injuries. This accident could have been prevented. Do not exceed the slope stability limits set by the skidder's manufacturer. If the manufacturer's limit is not known, in most situations a rubber-tired skidder must not be operated on a slope of more than 35%. Try to avoid cross-slope skidding. For improved stability, move straight up or straight down a hill. Working with wheeled skidders near very steep terrain increases the risk of rollover. The severity of this rollover was due partly to the steepest portion of the hillside. Thoroughly inspect seat belts. The webbing of the skidder's seat belt was supposed to be three inches wide, but due to pre-existing damage, at one place it was only one and a half inches wide. This damage may have been caused by a torch. The damage was difficult to see because it was in a dark area behind the seat frame. Logging sites may contain both steep terrain that must be yarded and less steep terrain suitable for ground skidding. Evaluate terrain carefully and only ground skid if the stability of the skidder can be ensured.